strangely enough, I guess partly because she lives in Vancouver, uh, I connected really uh, with the duck lady and felt very, very close to the duck lady. And, uh, you know, she does, she lives on so little and has such a meager kind of existence as it were, living in a really very small hotel room in a not a very great place. She runs a really what I consider an admirable charity called Duck Soup, which you'll see in the film, and where she hands out money to the homeless and kind of her idea of a lottery. And uh, I hope people will be moved to share her generosity and contribute to Duck Soup and help some homeless people. What I really like about it is there's no moral strictures or anything attached to the money that she hands out. She's quite happy if they go and use it on booze or drugs or whatever the hell they want to use it on. And I really approve of that. And uh, as a result, I've contributed to Duck Soup. And the other thing that was so wonderful to see and share with her was her getting her new duck, Bobby. I mean, it made for beautiful film, but it also watching her and watching how she was so devoted already to that little duckling and so in love with the duckling. We caught her in a very special moment. So giving her a duck and giving her a donation was, I mean, great pleasure because she gets so little and, you know, she obviously took such great pleasure out of both. That was a highlight for sure. It's the duck lady reading my palm in Vancouver. I'm on my own hand, so I can only read it this way. I'm eccentric. <laughs> and telling me I received rock star treatment in two years, remember, two years. You know where you heard it first. <laughs> and she'll read your palm too, if you want to make a donation to Duck Soup.